Can I get my older games up and running in a browser within hours instead of weeks or sometimes months? And that's a pretty good question for this week's video. Hey, I'm Pascal from Orange Pixel. Welcome to another video. So besides my new games and the things I'm working on, Space Grunts, Regulators, a Gaunt of Power on Switch, so many things happening, I'm also tinkering on getting some sort of web portal up and running so that my older games are playable from the Orange Pixel website, orangepixel.net. However, getting my old games, which are written in Java, um, getting them to run in a browser requires a lot of manual work. But after doing a couple of these games manually, going through all the lines one by one, it's as boring as it sounds, I figured I need a tool for this. And I looked around for somebody who fits that description, but I couldn't find one, so I decided to write a tool for it with a little help. And the result um, is gonna be a test in this video. Can we create one of my older games for the browser within hours. Well, let's find out. So at its core, this tool has to be a search and replace tool because most of the work I do manually is search and replace, renaming variables, renaming functions, um, very tiny little things, but they have to be done line by line. And I made a lot of mistakes and that adds a lot of extra testing time and a tool that search and replaces um, based on code and rules cannot make those weird typos and mistakes that I make. Now I try to look for a tool out there. There must be some search and replace tool that takes input from maybe a little configuration file or a settings file where I put all these rules that I need to be searched for and replaced. Couldn't really find one, um, but I searched for like maybe 15 minutes. So I decided to ask Discord. Now one of the regular members, Petskull, he actually told, give me an hour and I'll write you one. Now, half an hour later, he already had that tool up and running. It did exactly what I was looking for. Search, replace based on input file. Having that tool, running it, gave me the idea that I could extend this, now that I had the base for it, to do a lot more. So I wasted a day on that. But the tool is now up and running. And in this video, we're gonna try and see how well it does its job. I tested it on a early version of Space Grunts, uh, but I was testing the tool while also porting it. So I have no idea how long it actually took to port the code. Now we're gonna run it on a very ancient game, Heroes of Loot, which is 2013. It's 12 years old code. It's a little bit dated game, but I want to preserve this game with Apple removing games from the App Store, Google also improving Android, and then older games will have to either be updated or are lost. I want to preserve my older games. Let's see if we can port Heroes of Loot into a browser, and hopefully within hours instead of a whole week. I think normally without a tool, this would take me roughly three to four days and then a lot of testing because like I said, I would make a lot of typos myself. At some point you lose focus while still porting. It's messy, but a tool shouldn't have that problem and should do it a lot faster. Let's see where we end up and we'll use a timer for this. Let's go. So everything is ready to go. I'm ready to go. I might be too confident on uh, the speed of this because I'm standing. I'm not, I might not be standing for the full duration of this challenge. Okay, let's start a timer and dive into it. Okay, speeding up some of this early stuff. Um, here you see me doing a Bitbucket um, setup of the project. Bitbucket is really like Git. So that's where I keep all my um, source codes, my backups. It's all in one. Uh, quickly set up a project so that I can import it into WebStorm and then we can actually start uh, creating some code because that's the whole important thing for all of this. So setting up is a boring thing and I try to not make this video too boring with all the technical stuff. So here and there I'm cutting things and I'm fast forwarding. Um, here I'm copying actually some of the assets. We do need all the graphics of the original game. We'll need the original source code. And from there on, we should start porting it, running a tool on it and see how long it all takes. So let's dive in. So I now have my project set up. I have uh, the original Java version files. It's not a huge amount of files. <coughs> this game is 13 years old now. And I was very sloppy and very to the point. Uh, code should run. It doesn't matter how it looks, how it works, if it's functional, if it's, it just has to run. And, and that's still something I stand by. 
I take more care of my code now, but the upside of this is that it's a lot less code that needs um, reformatting for JavaScript. So I'm very hopeful that we can go through this in one go. Now my search and replace a nator, still no name for it, tool thing, um, it's written based on my modern, my current code. And that's 10 years, more, of ten, more than 10 years of evolution of me programming and the style I program in. So there could be errors um, everywhere for the simple fact this is ancient code. But I'm very confident we can fix those errors pretty quickly, then rerun it until we have a good solution. Uh, we're now at four minutes, just setting up the project took four minutes. Let's run our little tool and see what happens. This could go all sorts of wrong and end the video right here, or this could go very well and also end the video here because I'll be done. All right, so let's run our tool. Okay, that just took a couple of seconds uh, going through all the files. What does that mean? Right now it means, there we go. We have a lot of uh, JS files now. Uh, for every Java file, there is now a JS file. Um, there I click one open. Let's, let's do it. Let's see what kind of mess we are in. Right, all, uh, yeah, I see a lot of red stuff, a lot of errors, a lot of things going wrong here. Let's see what we have to say here. Um, these things should have all been called static or placed in my constructor, I think. There's something, let's see what the original file, I haven't looked at this code for so long. All right, the problem here is I don't have a um, declaration of being public or not. So let's first fix this Java version. Um, yeah, that's that's the thing with this tool. It does a lot of stuff, but it's very specific on what it can understand. It's not really parsing uh, Java at all. I just didn't have time or interest in writing a complete Java parsing program. So it just does, uh, it goes line by line and it looks for certain keywords. Uh, let's rerun it and see how the new uh, JS file comes out. Much better. Now everything is in the constructor. This makes more sense. And there's no red errors anywhere. This class is already perfect as it is. No need to change anything here. I like it. Um, next probably needs more work. There's also, um, I think I have to go through all my original Java source first and just quickly add public to all these variables. And I'm now eight minutes into the process. Um, just a lot of, still a bunch of grunt work is happening here. Okay, so what we have now is all the game files are it except the main class which is going to be uh, all the work um, I have to actually um, grab all the functionality from that one but use like gone of power or space grunts version of um, HTML version of that and dump it in there so this is going to be a lot of manual work what I'm trying to do with my newer games now that I have this tool is make sure that I separate as much as possible from these things so that the main class is just there for loading images, loading sound effects, setting it all up and has very little or very few game logic stuff happening so that most of these things can be done outside that file. However, doing that on this project would just be a waste of my time. So I have to do this file manually. Okay, I can do this. Um, I can do a lot of search and replace already. I just have to do it. I just have to dig into it. Uh, we're now in... 23 minutes into the project, which normally, if I look at these files, um, I think it would have been four, maybe five hours of work. But let me first dive into this file. But I am going to sit for this one. This will require a lot of work. We're now at two hours and three minutes into this whole process, and I grinded through the main class. There was a lot more stuff going on than I uh, remembered. Again, this is a game that's originally written 12, 13 years ago. So the code is old and my framework has changed. Imagine writing a game now on an engine and then trying to edit it 10 years later. If you're a Unity user, you probably have that same problem in six months from now. 
but if you have a stable a framework that doesn't change as much it's still a, a world of difference so uh, all the input stuff was very outdated had to update it so i'm not i think i made some mistakes here and there so not all buttons and things will work correctly but let's just try and run it and see uh, which errors it will give because it won't run without any errors i can assure you that but let's see what it does let's first start our tiny web server let's see what happens not a lot on screen the console says uh, we are missing a file yeah audio is a file from my framework haven't updated them but it expects certain things that are not available in this game so right now it wants to import a world that isn't available um, not sure if that causes other problems shouldn't no doesn't let's see where we are now monster entity locale i don't even need i can skip that file completely try again black screen actually this is now game code running sort of uh, we're just missing things game state game state get boss blah, 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 blah. then yeah okay so there's a lot of things that i need to check and fix and uh, this is just boring work run it fix the bugs the things that he's trying to import but can't find fix those try it again fix those try it again until we get something on the screen so i'm now going to fix those things and i'll get back to you when we get something on the screen either black screen orange pixel logo something that's not an error well probably there will be an error but i'll get back to you we have something on the screen um we're running into a problem after the splash uh, the splash is new code so i figured that would work um the problem is images that somehow do not get rendered um not sure if i'm forgetting to load these files sprites we have a lot of the one we need is zero is nil why is that nil all right um let's see what we do we we load it in so oh wait maybe we don't we don't preload this one that's really the problem um or the thing i don't like about web games all the preloading you have to do um or else you have run into other problems or you have images that aren't fully available uh, but yeah okay easy fix let's make sure we actually load in this file and i saw another file not being correctly oh those are yeah a few minutes later all right uh two hours 25 minutes into this whole process and we got something on the screen and i know this looks outdated i know it's an old game but we have and it's not just this let me reload it we actually have the, the splash this should have a dungeon of loot characters running around which we don't have that's missing but it's the animation and it goes smoothly into this can we start the game i don't think we can so that probably has to do with the input code that was such a mess i completely had to rewrite things i think that's where we are now um, running into issues i have to check all the input stuff because nothing is nothing is happening i'm gonna fix all the input stuff now and then let's see if we also can fix the characters missing in the animation should be a tiny fix not important right now but it would be cool to have that as well so um things to fix two hours and 30 minutes almost into the project i'm excited and let's pause it there three hours 26 minutes 26 seconds what a coincidence and let me show you what we actually have it's playable um not fully playable uh, missing sound effects missing a bunch of things but it's playable so we can grab a character and dive into the game there's more animation everything seems to work except like i said sound effects they're not playing just yet and um, there could be bugs here and there that i need to fix but game logic should all be perfect and i haven't played a full level let's see if we can actually exit a level the door is opening let's see i want to go to the next level does it crash no it works 
we have a game in three hours and 26 minutes. It's a lot shorter than this was before. Honestly, I was still struggling with this one. The game class, it just such old code, just so dated. I wasn't liking the work I had to put in, but I'm glad it's not up and running. Now it's just a matter of playtesting the game, uh, playing it a lot, see where it crashes. If it crashes, fix those things and we'll have a new game up on the portal. So right now the portal is not yet publicly available. It's there, I'm building a lot of things, but I'm. it feels like I'm building something that usually takes a whole team and I'm trying to do it all on my own. Not that I like to do it on my own, but it's very hard to actually have other people come in on this. And I don't know, I don't even know how this is ever gonna make any money, but it's a very fun project to uh, work on and I have ideas and we'll see how that all pans out. I will do a video soon about the portal and where we are, but let's wrap up this video. Um, last week I did a keyword thing to see if we could have some sort of interaction. There are so many people idly watching my videos every week, having nothing to say. But dropping that little keyword in the comments made me laugh out loud because I kind of forgot I did that. So I suddenly saw all these comments coming in, orange juice, orange juice, orange juice. It took me a split second to figure out what's going on. Now this week's keyword, portal. Let's just use portal. If you have nothing to say, but you want to show some appreciation for these free videos, drop a portal in the comments below and I'll know you appreciate the video. I know that you watched up to this point and it also helps me with the YouTube algorithm. I'm just trying so many new things this year and let's just see where it all ends up. So this video, if you have nothing to comment, drop portal in the comments below and I know that you watched it all. If you have more to say, if you have more thoughts on this, also let me know in the comments. Um, I'll read everything. I can't reply to everything anymore. At certain points, there's just so much stuff coming in, uh, but I'll read anything and the really important thing or certain questions, I try to always answer them. So uh, make sure to comment below, like, subscribe, and I will see you next week's video. Bye.